Okay. Launching smoke. Been posted. Yampy leading the way. Happy once again to always offer himself up for the potential trade. Ultima comes in. Hobby's found one. He needs a second. He's going to get a second. Hobby denying as they fire no all three. Way. He's catching all three. And Takas punishes Yampy, leaving it just down to Link. And they just go into the blender and Link can't leave. Takas holds it. Link. That's going to swing and find that. The double dink through the wall. This leaves okay. Akuma and Logan here. See, look at it from the He's distance. He's got so much time, Hypok. So much time. Now, he wants a, a pick here. You want to try and bring this down to a 1v1, because a 1v2, they'll always be able to trade effectively on you in these sort of situations. But how do you get a clean 1v1 here? That's exactly what BDS are trying to deny. Logan's there, turret's there, and Akuma is a little bit further ahead. He's expecting this push. Now, the timing. Trying to offset it a little, create that paranoia in the back of their minds. Maybe a touch on the spike, left. but that's still not as much time as needed for them to really push around and clear. So does he go for the full plant? I don't know. He's considering the options, right? It does look as though plant is coming in. No slow, no wall, no nothing. Just the gun in his hands. That's one. Oh, Link! Out of nowhere, sensational work from Link. That was never meant to be his, but if this is the liquid we're going to see, it's game on. It's 11-11, and the money is back in the bin for BDS. Right, I just want to talk about this. I'm pretty sure Cryptic fires that molly, and it's supposed to cut off their retreat back out of Octagon, right? The Orbital Strike and the Molotov basically to punish that early kind of 